welcome to chemistry lover and today in this video i'm going to talk about uh, what is the difference between a uh, msc followed by phd and a uh, integrated phd and what you should opt for so this will be a detailed comparison between these two what are the pros what are the cons i will discuss in detail so you, you have to watch this video till the end and then you can make a decision that which course is good for you whether it is integrated phd or it is a uh, msc followed by phd so let's start our today's video Uh, so I have written down all the points so that I uh, shouldn't forget them and I will uh, discuss all these points one by one so let me first open the note yeah so it is here so I will first tell about the points which are the pros for a integrated PhD course then I will tell about the cons of it and similarly I will do it for a MSc followed by PhD so after this comparison I will tell you that which students are uh, uh, so which course is favorable for which type of students and then only you can make the decision so if I talk about pros of integrated PhD so the first point is it will take uh, a less time so less time is needed so actually integrated PhD is designed as a 2 plus 4 course 2 year for MSc and 4 year for PhD now if you are doing integrated PhD then you will start your project work from your second year of MSc that is the se second year so effectively you are getting five years and this five year is effective because whatever you are doing in your second second year of MSc that you can extend to your uh, PhD work so this is the point uh, for that you will uh, save your time right so you will complete the full MSc PhD course within only six years whereas uh, for normal PhD it will take five years only for PhD so this is the first point that less time is needed it is a two plus four four years course now the second point is you will get a monthly fellowship uh, for example in Isar Kolkata they provide around 12.5 uh, K that is uh, 12 uh, 12,500 rupees per month for the MSc students when they are in the first two years that is uh, the MSc students uh, in Aizar Pune and IRC Bangalore they provide uh, 16k that is 16,000 rupees for MSc and then PhD stipend is same for you so this extra stipend which you will get for MSc that you will not get if you do a separate MSc degree so this is a really good thing that you will get money when you are doing MSc now the third point is better understanding of the research topic so as you are involved in the research from a very young age that is only in the second year of uh, your MSc so this is a very good that you are introduced to a proper research environment you will understand that what actually people do in the lab you will be familiar with the topics so this is a good thing for you uh, the fourth point is continuation of MSc work which I already mentioned that you can continue your MSc work to your PhD so this will save your time you will have uh, more thinking in your mind you will have more ideas in your mind this is a good point and no coursework is needed so if you are doing an integrated phd and no separate coursework is uh, needed for when you are doing phd this is a really good point because the coursework during phd is really boring uh, the sixth point is the better understanding with the faculties so if you are doing msc and phd in the same institute that is integrated phd then you already know the faculty which faculty uh, does wh which work uh, what is their research area how is their behavior so all things you know and accordingly you can choose your guide right so this is a really good point mother institute it is always a facility that you know your institute you familiar with the environment so this is again a good point you don't have to uh, set your mind again and again so this is a good that you already know the institute no need to qualify any exams like csi net exam or gate exam this, this is again a good point that you don't have to worry that whether i can qualify an exam or not uh, if you don't uh, qualify any exam also because it is an integrated course so you will be automatically in, enrolled in the phd system so this is a good point that you don't have to crack a competitive exam like csi net exam 
and the ninth point is the institute fellowship so if you compare institute fellowship with any other fellowship like csi or ugc institute fellowship is always good because you will get your fellowship at the first date of any month right csi and ugc they delay to give you fellowship so this is again a very good point in terms of money so these are the all nine points which are the pros for an integrated phd course now let us talk about the cons what are the uh, problems with integrated PhD so the first point is again so less time it is it, it may be a good point or it may be a, a bad point for you because if you waste your time then you will be short of time right so only four years is effective for your PhD and if you waste your time then you will have a very very less time you cannot extend your fellowship so this is a this is this can be problem for a few people so less time is one of the thing now another thing is you can't uh, leave your uh, program your msc program before three years so in either kolkata i know that they cannot uh, allow you to leave from the institute before uh, three years if you want to just uh, take a msc degree for taking only a msc degree also you have to uh, spend three years in this institute then only you can get the msc degree so if you are opted for only msc then you are uh, wasting one year of your life and also let's say you app, uh, there is some job vacancy so you cannot apply if you don't have msc degree so this is really a really concerning point for uh, students who opt for jobs right so this is this point you have to uh, uh, take in your mind and another thing is institutes like uh, iic bangalore and iser pune as they provide more a monthly stipend to the uh, integrated PhD students during their MSc they cannot allow you to leave the institute at all so there is no exit policy you cannot leave the institute before your PhD is finished so this so so before applying any institute for uh, for an integrated PhD first learn about all the procedures that wh whether the no exit policy is there or not whether you can leave the institute after two years or not that things uh, you make sure that they, then only you should apply otherwise you will be in problem uh, the fourth so third point is uh, same institute so you may be bored because you ha you are spending six years in the same institute so this may be this may be a really boring thing for you right um, the fourth point is the less driving force to clear, clear CSI and ex net exam so if you are in the integrated PhD course there is a mindset always works that well I will uh, get PhD uh, at any cost right so uh, then he will have a less urge less driving force that i have to qualify the csi net exam so you will be reluctant to study uh, this happens i have seen so this may be a bad point and five or fifth point is less flexibility flexibility in terms of leaving the institute in terms of choosing professors there is a less flexibility because you are in the same institute so if you are uh, enrolled in a uh, in an institute where you don't have your uh, professors according to your choice you cannot uh, do anything you have to go to someone who, whom you may not like but you have to go because it is an integrated phd course so these are the five points uh, which are cons for uh, integrated phd course now if i talk about the pros for msc followed by phd so there are really not many pros but uh, i like this course and there is a total flexibility in a msc program after msc you can leave you can do job whatever you want so this is the point uh, you can get your msc degree only after two years uh, so you have a flexibility you can join to any other institute for phd you can join to job whatever you want you can do uh, and uh, if you qualify any uh, exam for phd if you enrolled in the phd separately you will have five years of fellowship right so this is good in uh, integrated phd you will have only four years of phd fellowship but, but for uh, for uh, separate phd program you will have five years and uh, the fifth point is new campus so if you uh, if you are doing P uh, msc in some institute and phd in some other institute for like me i did my msc from iit bombay and now doing phd in either kolkata so i have flexibility I can enjoy new campus so this this may be a good point for you now what are the cons or what are the problems with a separate uh, msc phd program so the first point is the money problem that is you don't have any fellowship in your msc so you have to do your msc by your own money so if you are enrolled in iit you will invest a lot of money you have to spend like two lakhs 
I spent two lakhs uh, for my MSc during uh, when I did it in IIT Bombay. So this is really expensive. Uh, you need to qualify CSI NET exam or GATE exam in order to uh, enter into a PhD program if you are doing a separate MSc course. Uh, more time is needed, five years. Then a uh, new work environment. So if uh, you did MSc work in some other lab and now you are enrolled in some another lab, so uh, to have a to have a friendly friendly uh, relationship with the people with the uh, with your guide and all other things you need a time so that that, that is a time consuming process uh, so first year of M uh, your phd may be wasted and uh, your faculty and your institute is completely unknown so you have to be familiar with them so this will take time uh, there is boring coursework right so your coursework is completely boring you have to do the coursework if you are in enrolled in a separate phd program so this is really boring i i didn't enjoy it at all and uh, the last one is new research work so maybe you did uh, something else in your um, msc and you have to start again something new for your phd program so uh, you don't have any connection with your MSc and PhD work. For example, I did my uh, MSc research in the field of carbohydrate chemistry, which is a total synthesis, and now I am doing spectroscopic kind of thing. So, uh, this may be a cons or problem for you. So, these are the detailed things about the comparison about the integrated PhD and IMSc, PhD, MSc followed by PhD program. Now, what you should do? so there are two kind of students some students uh, are very firm at their uh, at their decisions they are very strongly determined that they will do the phd at any cost and for them integrated phd is absolutely good course because you will get money you will uh, save your time so all the things are good for you but if you are a student uh, who are not firm at their uh, at their decisions and they switches their de decision again and again like me so then uh, this integrated PhD course may not be good for you because uh, maybe you will decide after one year that I have to do job then you cannot leave the institute before three years so this can be problematic for you so first uh, understand that what is your uh, future plan what is your life goal what do you want to do and then uh, enroll yourself in anywhere and uh, another thing is uh, if you have money problem if you have to support your family by providing money then uh, you should uh, enroll yourself in the integrated phd program because only one year is wasted that is actually not a waste because you will get money uh, during that year and this fellowship is uh, same as phd fellowship so it is not actually a waste of time but again it is up to you uh, so these are the comparison in my choice i personally like uh, the P uh, msc followed by phd program because i always like flexibility and actually in iit there was a program that if you have a cgpa after uh, above certain uh, certain point that is if you have cgpa greater than 8 you can convert your msc to I msc phd dual degree program same like integrated phd program and then you will also be provided the full uh, amount of fellowship uh, which is pending for your MSc. So if I would uh, continue my uh, PhD in IIT Bombay, I would get uh, extra um, extra fellowship for my MSc. But uh, I don't like this uh, program this because there is a rigidity, no flexibility is there. Uh, but it is up to you, whatever you want. And uh, so you can take your decision according to your uh, own need. So that's all. This is the comparison. I hope that this video will help you. A lot of people requested me to make this video. So thank you for watching. And if you want more videos like that, uh, subscribe this channel. And best of luck for you.